Hi, I'm John Ferguson. I'm from the Media Lab. Uh, in our lounge here, we have uh, this many of which came out of a class at the uh, Media Lab called uh, Science Fiction, the Science Fabrication. Uh, this demo here is called Case and Molly. The student who did it, Craig Bernstein, Bernstein, Craig Bernstein, uh, was inspired by uh, the scene in Neuromancer where Case uh, is helping Molly, uh, but Molly, Case can see what Molly is doing with her. Molly's augmented eye. simple snap-on mechanism that lets you uh, do 3D uh, vision using built-in camera on an uh, iPhone. Uh, they do this by uh, using four mirrors uh, to get two focal points about an eye's distance apart and then they use half of the camera sensor for one eye and half the camera sensor for the other eye. Then they stream the live video through to the Oculus Rift setup and that person has a game controller and can send simple signals to the person walking around. while reading. So instead of just reading words on the page, um, the reader has to wear this mask as they're reading and um, that forces the reader to experience uh, that forces the reader to experience the same kind of uh, physiological emotion as the characters in the book. This is a project called Limbo, which stands for Limb in Motion by Other. It's a project I co-taught with uh, another instructor at the Media Lab, Sophia Brooker. And it allows a one person to make a pose or a hand gesture, have that pose or hand gesture put over a network so that another user in uh, a different part of the room or a different part of the world can strap into an electric muscle stimulation and create and have their hand force to match the first hand. So, uh, limb in motion by other, and this was, uh, was inspired by uh, Molly's time as a meat puppet and, and neuromancer, so having her body controlled by someone else. 15 is the on-campus uh, building number for uh, part of the Media Lab, and uh, this student uh, used uh, the Connect sensor network that we have spread throughout the lab. Uh, they were taking in that area and kind of has it painted out kind of like a mandala given kind of this overall sense of activity in the building. It makes a very beautiful image over time. Okay, so this is a bubble synth. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're doing is we're deriving the position, age, size, velocity, and other values from the bubbles using a high-speed camera. Uh, we then feed those values as inputs into a granular synthesizer. It's built entirely to be an open platform, so it doesn't have to be bubbles on the front end, and it doesn't have to be these particular sounds on the back end. It's just you'd be using Super, super Collider over OSC, so you can reprogram the back end to make any sounds you want. 